YouTubers, how's it going guys? Well, I thought I'd make a new video and me and my friend Terry have been trying to fix this stubborn piece of shit Ford for the past week now. It's a 1995 Ford F-150 XL. It's got a 5-speed manual, 4-wheel drive, 3 quarter ton. It's got a 302 V8 in it. And we had to pull out the transmission and pull it all back. And that was a pretty big hassle, but we did manage to get it apart. And then we just put it back together and we, we put a master, uh, what's it called? Oh, geez. Um, oh, it's, I can't remember what it's called. Hang on, I'll, I'll ask Terry in a minute. But anyway, right now, we're just trying to, if you can see that hydraulic line there, that goes into the transmission and we're just trying to assemble that into the transmission. Let me see, right there. And anyway, um, the, you're supposed to leave a little clip in there that holds that line on but Terry can't seem to push that in so I don't know what he's got planned for this truck but he's gonna try it again today but I think he's gonna use a little bit of grease and grease that up and see if he can slide it in there but anyway um, it's been a pretty big hassle Yeah, what we put in inside the transmission between the clutch and the tranny is the slave cylinder. And we put, Terry put in a new... He's laughing. <laughs> put in a new uh, reservoir. So, yeah. Truck does run. Had it run a few days ago. But we once hopefully if we can get that line plugged into the side of the transmission things will be happening I hope youtubers anyway so yeah What the interior looks like. So yeah, the clutch pedal is really loose right now. That's all it does. It actually feels a little bit tighter than before, huh? Weird. Feels tighter, huh? Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. This truck's got some custom exhaust headers which are a pain in the ass because they're in the way of the starter. We had to take the starter out as well and the cross member and the two drive shafts of course. It's got a body lift and a, and a bit of a lift too. Hmm. 
I think Terry's just trying to put the little uh, rubber wash or seal on the line. Is that what you're doing? Oh, yeah. There's the ring. Old ring. <laughs> Old ring. Okay. See what I mean guys, YouTubers? It just won't go in there. <laughs> it clicks on the first little notch on the line thingy, but it won't. It just won't go all the way in. Pull the pin out. I just want to see what. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? O ring hoop. Oh, jeez. 
Well, anyway, too big that one. <sighs> I'm gonna try something here for a minute. Let's see why. <laughs> That's where it's supposed to be so far in it goes. Yeah. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's right. See, it pushes it open and closed. Yep. Yeah. Did you put another O-ring on there or no? Okay, follow it. Oh, what? It's just part way to go in. Oh. Okay. Anyway, YouTube still doesn't quite look like we're getting anywhere, but if something happens, I'll let you know. Okay. See you in a bit. There's the lap. YouTubers, Terry just put another O ring on the mm -hmm. line. I'm gonna try it again. This time with the little, there's a little plastic cup thing that goes around that. And. He took it off and he took the pin out. I have no idea what he's gonna do now, but he's gonna, I guess he's gonna try to put a little bit of grease on it. But it, I mean, it slides in there fine without the the pin. But with the pin in there, you, there's no way you can get it in by hand. It's just it won't go in. I'm gonna push the pin in now. Pins in there. <clears throat> anyway youtubers if you have any suggestions on how to get a slave cylinder hydraulic line in let us know because we probably need some help <laughs> of course I I mean there's there's there is the easy mechanic way of doing it with a, a special um, kind of weird tool thing but we don't have that so we're gonna have to do it by hand I don't know if there's any way you guys know how to get that in with the pin in it see if I get just doesn't want to go in there you know leave a leave a comment guys on the video and let me know if you know anything of 
put these kind of lines and sleigh cylinders on a piece of ship cords. Right, Terry? Okay. Yeah, I'm coming up from there. Hmm? Okay. I need to make a... Okay, let's see here. Watch your head. If I go from there to there... Oh, actually, if I go... Good ones. Oh shit! Right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do this guy. Yeah. Me. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna do this Hey you two is uh gonna try something different. Terry's gonna grind uh with the angle grinder. Uh, yeah, what he's gonna do he's gonna see if this is a you know a little mini um oh jeez. The name the name um pry, pry bar, pry bar. Anyway, um, he's gonna grind. He's gonna grind this gate gap wider so that he can somehow get the on the on the uh, line and pry it in. You know, see if that works. I don't know. It might. It might not. Anyway, I guess you could say it's a redneck kind of way of getting that hydraulic line on. <laughs> okay guys, I'll uh, keep you updated. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
something to sit on, you two is. Uh oh, we need light. You're dead. You can see.